Ci troviamo con il detentore della Coppa del Mondo, vincitore dei titoli mondiali olimpici, Johannes Vo, all'interno del Dolomiti Apartheid Rooms a passo di eh, Lavazè. Uh, hi Johannes, uh, you, it's strange uh, training season for you because you training a lot alone. Yeah, but uh, it's not so different from the other uh, years, so uh, it's the new routine, so from now on I'm with the team and um, Yeah, training here in Lavasse is uh, <clears throat> an important step to the season. You spent a lot of time with your family. Yeah, it's been a good half year put behind us, so uh, it was well worth it. How much difficult is for you to leave your family to go out for three weeks uh, in a training camp or three weeks of stages during the season? I think three weeks uh, during competitions is different than training camp, uh, because training camp you can do at home as well but mm. you can't do the work up races at home yeah <laughs> so that's the biggest different uh, difference um so um i try to to keep the um, yeah as less days as possible away uh, that means i will be home during summer and uh, okay. away during winter it's difficult obviously to more in during the winter probably for you and how you maintain High motivation. How is possible you can maintain high motivation because you have worked everything in your career. So what's your target? What's your motivation? Yeah, I think motivation for me is easy because I have a lot of breaks after each season. I take very long time uh, with, uh, yeah, not so focused on the training. Um, so the, the total um, year is, is quite easy. Uh, So I have very like fresh batteries uh, each September, October, and uh, uh, I think that helps to keep the motivation high because I will, I'm never really tired during a year. But um, so, which is your target, next target? Well, it's like before. <laughs> Always win, win, win. Always win. win. Uh, but the main goal is maybe to, to get the most wins. But, um, ah, okay, the record of yeah. wins in uh, World Cup. Yes. You want to beat Grandale. Yes. <laughs> It's the next target. Yeah. But uh, it's possible for you to improve in your shooting, in your... Yeah, uh, way. I think uh, I can improve my prone shooting, especially. To be more regular there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think skiing and standing shooting has been very good. So uh, just to keep... Uh, Keep training well uh, to last month until the season, and uh, I think I will be ready. Uh, in a few years, when your son will ask you about your career, what do you tell him? <laughs> the, the, the thing that you are a greater pride? I will, of course, tell my son I'm the greatest ever. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the easy one. <laughs> it's, it's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, I remember in Novemesto, you obviously had a lot of interviews after the races, but uh, you changed your mood uh, when I asked you about uh, Gianluca Marcolini. Yeah. So can you describe your relationship, how much important it is for you? Ah, it's very important. Uh, skis are the most important oh. equipment we have to to win races and uh, you need uh, the best fisher ski and uh, Gianluca, he has the knowledge I, I think not so many in the world has on skiing. Uh, so we are very proud and happy to have him as our waxman the entire day and uh, yeah, I wouldn't trade him for anyone <laughs> in the world. Uh, so uh, we are a very good team and uh, yeah, he is also motivated to, to win and uh, Sometimes I also feel he's more happy uh, for my wins than I'm, I am myself. <laughs> so he's really into it and uh, he puts his life and his energy into um, help us to uh, get the best material out there. Okay, last question is about Arnold. So you know the change of the, the final part of the track uh, is similar to Oslo and Colin. So probably what, what you think? I think we are happy. For it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, I think um, it's better like that and uh, it will be... Um, Amazing to go to the Olympic Games. Not possible for you to Oslo 2029 or oh. you no? Not uh, not as an athlete, but oh. uh, for sure I will be there someplace. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.